Commander, um, you know I love you, right? You're in trouble, aren't you? I mean, trouble is such a strong word. Out with it, Timey. Or got himself arrested, or quarantined. But if you come to his hearing, I bet you can get him released. So many questions. Not even sure where to start. We can go into the details when you get here. Amnon Council Chambers. Thanks, Commander. You're amazing. I never thought I'd be happy to see so many cavaliers around the city. I can finally sleep at night. Uh, hi there. Did you happen to come from the south? Early, so here's a quick rundown. In researching the plague, Gorik figured out that it only infects humans. Really? That's huge. Right? Trouble is, locals heard him talking about his work and they got him arrested. Luckily, he calls it the pestilence, so no one knows he's working on the scare of the plague. Whatever you do, don't call it by name or they'll never let him go. I'm engaged to meet the Tyrian delegation ship, so let's get this going. Mr. Gorik, you stand accused of conspiracy to release a deadly plague upon our city. How do you plead? First of all, it's just Gorik. Asura do not have surnames. And second, do please note this, as the distinction is vital. It's not a plague, it's a pestilence. <sighs> I'm ready to rule. If there's no one here to speak on this creature's behalf... Counselor Mayamin, if it pleases the court, I'd like to speak. Oh, Hero of Amnoon. We'd be honored. I had no idea you were here for this case. The floor is yours. Although, I don't know what could possibly convince me to release this diseased threat into our city. Diseased? Oh, forgot to mention. To prove it only infects humans, he did expose himself to the contagion. But nothing happened! Nothing happened? He's deliberately growing a beetle under his skin. I'm sorry, he has a what growing where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... It's a new species of beetle that could help us with, uh, you know what? His name is Petey. He's cold sensitive, but otherwise an excellent specimen. Slash pet. Order, please. Commander, so far I'd say your cause is suffering. Your Honor, did you have Gorik examined? I wouldn't ask any physician to risk exposure, but there's a bug growing under his skin, and, well, look at him. Look at him? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, even in the best of health, his kind tend to look sort of, you know, sickly, weak. Wow, Counselor. I think your honor needs to examine her own assumptions here. You tell her, Commander! Uh, I didn't mean... <sighs> Look, maybe I'm biased. The only Asura I've ever seen are the Inquest, and I'm not a fan. 
They captured some of our citizens and subjected them to horrific experimentation with strange diseases. It's clear your experience has caused you to act hastily, Counselor. <sighs> so it would seem. Given the lack of concrete evidence and given your willingness to vouch for his character, the court hereby orders Gorik released. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Mr. Gorik, you're free to go. Bailiff, leave the key and clear the chamber. Excuse us, will you, Commander? Greetings. I think the words you're looking for are... Uh, thank you. Regardless, it's over now. You two can get back to work. They impounded my materials at the docks. And Blish! They just lumped him in with their stuff like a thing, like... property! Then I'll meet you at the docks. Well, well, well! Commander! Can't trust those inquestors, sir, or whatever they are. You heard what they did. Council should have... I was out. hoping our paths might intersect. Lord Farron, what brings you here? Pack Marshal Thackeray has sent a ship with supplies to aid poor ravaged Amnoon. He asked me to receive it personally. That's a big responsibility. Yes, I assume that's why he sent me. Ship's been spotted in the harbor. Should be arriving soon. Dock 6. Say, it would so buoy the spirits of the locals if you were to attend. Give them a bit of diplomatic pomp. I've got to help out a friend, so I might be a bit late, but of course, wouldn't miss it. Glorious! The delegation will be so impressed. Received by not one, but two of the most distinguished heroes in the world. Here like garbage. Half of these crates are cracked wide open. Numbskulls. No! My bright marshmallow lights! Warwick, we just got you out of jail. A mite infestation will land you right back in. <laughs> Never fear. You can breed more. Commander, maybe run them over with your mouth. That'll stop them from spreading. Charge them! Right. Now that's handled, I'll be off. See you at Dark Six, Commander. You okay? I am not. I am having an atrocious day. Now, where is my brother? He has to be in one of these crates. Hey, Blish! Blish! You in here somewhere? <gasps> He's powered down! No, no, no! Those idiots cut him off from the golem's neural net. It's like a black box. He must be going out of his mind. You gotta reboot him quick! Brother, friend, the horror. I I couldn't see, hear, speak, move. No sense of space or time. Only nothingness. Oh, 
fish, you're back now. That's all over. I would prefer not to experience that again. Never again. We promise. Right, Gork? Indubitably. That sounds truly awful, Blish. Are you sure you're all right? <sighs> I think so. It's good to see you all again. We'll take care of him, Commander. Go ahead and meet the packed ship. My countrymen and Pack Marshal Thackeray. I am thankful to Pack Marshal Thackeray for Akrita's magnanimous aid and for your auspicious presence here. But this is Elonian soil, and our people must come together as equals. So I will greet the delegation, introduce my fellow nobles, and then we will join you. And it seems the commander here. Councillor Mayamin, Lord Farron. Nice to see you again. It seems I am twice blessed today. If you'll please excuse me, please. Perfect timing, Commander. The packed supply ship is here. Come, stand next to me so we can be seen together. Crichtons, welcome. It is my extreme pleasure to... you pay for declaring your independence. Well, well, well. Commander, what are you doing here? Small world. Or maybe it's just Jogos getting larger. And now, I've acquired the Scarab Plague. The genuine article this time. Thank you for repeatedly failing to stop me. The carnage to come will be on your head. The final act of your pathetic little tale. But first things first. Ten seconds to curtain. Places for Act One, please. Places for Act One. Break a leg, people. It's showtime. <laughs> Alive or dead, all serve me. Rise, pets. Rise! serious.
started. Scene two. Enter. Destroy the inexorable. Exit, Joku. 
That's Joko? Good gods, he's insane! We've always lived in the shadow of that lich, hoping he'd leave us be. I must alert the rest of the council. Commander! What happened? Joko intercepted the ship, exposed all the crew and passengers to the Scarab Plague. Oh my, my, my! A full spectrum outbreak! This is incredible! Gorik! Oh, right. Sorry. Tragedy. Terrible. Scarab Plague, huh? Well, lucky you didn't get infected, Commander. That lunatic despot stole the Pact's war supplies and murdered my countrymen. He must die. According to Joko, he can't die. He just pops back to life like a demented jack-in-the-box. Plenty of accounts to back that up. Then again, Joko says a lot of things. He claims he killed Balthazar. Stealing our credit, eh, Commander? So what's our plan? It's not that easy. Humans can catch the plague. If we go to war, our people will have to sit it out. Seems to me this Joko has already declared war. On us. And I, for one, am joining the fight. Uh, Gorik Blish, let's, uh, give Lord Farron and the Commander some privacy. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Lord Farron, this is a delicate matter. You gave me busy work when you faced Balthazar. Not again. Humans have the most to lose here. Honor demands a Crichton join the fight against this monstrosity. I shall be that Crichton. Another personal victory.